Hey, it's Tim here. In Tableau 2021.3, Tableau have added the ability to animate the axes when you're visualizing in Tableau. Now, this is a subtle change. It's actually an improvement to the animation features. Uh, the animations keep getting better and better. I love the way that this is sort of picking up pace. Let me show you how it works. I'm just going to build a simple chart. For the record, I'm using Superstore Sales. People always ask, you know, what, what dashboard, uh, what data source are you using? I'm always using one of these two here, EU, Superstore, or Superstore, the American version. Uh, go ahead and click on that, and that will get you here into Tableau Desktop. And then we're just going to drag Sales onto Rows, Profit onto Columns, and then I'm going to bring Category onto Color, and then Product Name onto Detail. What I've done there is I've built a scatter plot very quickly. I've got profit on columns, sales and rows. And by putting category on color, we get the different colors on the scatter plot and product name on detail gives us the level of detail. Essentially, each dot here represents a product. If I wanted to go down one additional level, I could add something else to break that down. But in this particular case, I'm going to leave this as is. Now, in order to show you this, I actually need to make sure a couple of things are happening. Now, if you're using an older version of Tableau, you might not see this because for you, the animations are going to be disabled. So they're essentially, up until the previous version of Tableau, I'll put a link to that video here. Up until that version, essentially animations were not on by default. So you can see here, for me, they're on by default. For you, they might be off. So if they're off, you can just come to this option and toggle it on go to format, toggle it on, and you're gonna be good once you've gone into the animations options there. You can obviously change these presets if you want it to be slow or fast. I'm gonna set this to slow so we can see this effect happen a little bit better. And now we're pretty much good to go. The last thing I need to do is to put a filter on here to see it work. So I'm gonna right click on category and select show filter. What that actually does when I do that very quickly is it automatically puts the category onto the filter pane and then enables the filter menu on the right hand side. So that's all done really, really quickly in one go. And now we can see the effects. So if I'm gonna deselect office supplies, you can see here that I've set it to slow. So you, you have like an accentuated animation here and you can see the axis is animating here at the bottom. If you're not sure where I'm looking, the axis is this one. This is the one that's changing. We're not changing too many values here on this axis. So the one to really pay attention to is going to be this bottom one here. So let's have a look at that again. Uh, let's deselect office supplies and then reselect it. And you can see that that's changing. Now, the reason this is good is because essentially in the past, um, sometimes you change a filter in your dashboard and the axis just flips instantaneously. Let's go and disable animation so you can see what that actually looks like. So let's go to off and let's go back. And now let's try the same thing again. You see the axis just flips. And actually what happens is your eyes are focusing more on the dots on the screen rather than the axis. So you're looking at the data points and in sort of in your peripheral vision, you're not even clocking that the axis is changing. So you think something's happened to your data when in fact, no, the axis has changed and actually you should be, you could be looking at a different context altogether. So that's why this feature is really, really good. It makes it easy for people to see and understand what's going on. And I think it's good for data viz best practice just to have this on because it's now communicating something. It's communicating change, not just through the chart, but through the axis. That's pretty much it. There's not much more to say on that. If you haven't done so already, check out the other videos on 2021.3 over on tableautim.com. I've got a whole playlist there that you can check out all these features. I'm adding to it over time. This is gonna be a slightly different way of working. I'm gonna to add to the playlist over the next few days. So go check those out and hopefully enjoy some of the other videos that I've got on my channel as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.